hey guys what's up it's your girl blue back at it again with another video and today's video as you can see from the title is a story time so i'm gonna do a story time every day for seven days yesterday was my first day so today is the second story time so my last story time was about the time me and my stepmother fought and my dad kicked me out if you haven't seen that you can just or i'll just leave a link in the description box for you to go and check out that story time today's story time is going to be about the time that i assisted an ex-convict in counting bail money for his convict friend who was in jail and i was offered five thousand dollars to be in a foursome so <laughs> All my story times are true stories, by the way. I'm not going to make up fake stories just for YouTube, just for likes or just for views. I'm not about that fakeness. So if you see a story on my channel, it's true. It's all true. And I just expect the truth from you, okay? No fake, no lies. So let me just give you guys a background story. All of these things happened when I was a teenager. I was a teenager? Yeah, I was a teenager. I was a, probably about 17, 18. I'm not sure. 17. Probably 17. And, you know, when you're a teenager, you get your allowance from your parents. I didn't have a job as a teenager, so I always relied on my dad to give me money. And my cousin was the same. Like, we relied on our... She relied on her um brothers and her mom to give her money and i was getting money from my parents as well so we didn't have a job so she now these are the days when bbm was popping everybody had blackberry everybody was on B bbm so she apparently started talking to some convict person we're just gonna name my cousin mm, angela okay i don't want to say her real name or whatever you know give her identity out but her name is Angela we're gonna call her Angela and she said oh I just got this opportunity we just have to go and help this guy count some money and he's gonna pay us both um two thousand dollars to help him count some money so I'm like at first when she told me that I was like I don't know about that that sounds a bit fishy a bit sketchy but you know, when you're a teenager and you're desperate for money, and it wasn't, it's no sex or nothing like that, so it's not anything illegal. It's not like, we're going to do anything for money. No, it was nothing like that. She said we just had to help him count some money. That's all she told me, okay? And <laughs> we're just going to help him count some money, and that's it. So I'm thinking, okay, that's harmless, like, just going to help somebody count money. What harm is that going to be? That shouldn't be anything bad. But we were kind of a bit skeptical, both she and I were skeptical about the situation. So we said that we were going to pack our bags, we are going to pack weapons in our bag. So I took a pocket knife, a knife in the kitchen, pocket knife. She had, what did she have? She had, she, no, she had the knife and I had a razor blade. You know those little square razor blades that you use to like cut your eyebrows or whatever? Yeah, so... Yeah, she had the knife and I had the razor blade. Just in case, because you never know what can happen. You never know if shit's going to happen or if some shit's going to go down and you're going to have to defend yourself because we're already going into a sketchy, a sketchy. We're already going into a sketchy situation, counting, helping this guy count money for this bail shit. So we just wanted to... <laughs> prepare ourselves just in case but this is the thing um my mom went out that day my dad lived in england well he's he does right he lives in england right now but so my mom was out so i had to watch my little sister my sister is six years younger than me i'm if i'm 17 then she was you know do the math so my sister was six six years younger than me <clears throat> she was 11 and I couldn't leave her home by herself because, you know, 11, you're not going to leave a, an 11-year-old at home by themselves. So I had to take my sister along with us to this place, this sketchy-ass place. I know, guys, don't roast me in the comments. I know that's some shitty stuff that I did. 
if my parents see this video, they're gonna be upset with me, but mom and dad were alive and nothing's wrong with us, so don't be mad at me, okay? This is just for the, you know, story time. So, and it happened anyway, so. Anyway, so I had to take my sister with us. I was really scared because I didn't want anything to happen to me, especially, like, and my sister, especially. Like, because my parents would kill me if they found out that I took my sister to some situation to go and count money for an ex-convict and all this nonsense. So we got to the person's house. And this person lived in one of those really small board houses made out of board, wood houses, in the bush. In the bush. I don't want to say where um, this place is located because I don't know if somebody... I don't. I just don't want the person to... I don't want to, you know. You know. So we're going to call this place Bush Town. Bush Town. Fine. So he lived in this really small house. It was sketchy, guys. Like, scary. We came to the house. There was one guy outside. And I told my sister, you know, you stay outside and... Just in case we have to make a run for it, you know, you're going to get like a head start. I'm going to shout out to you, run. So I told my sister, stay outside. And if I shout run, start running because she's slow. My sister, she is as slow as, as F. And I didn't want to like, you know, get put my sister in that situation where we start running at the same time. And I leave my sister behind. I'm not going to leave my sister behind. So I told her, listen for me. To say run or something. And if I tell you run. Start running bitch. Run. And. <laughs> and me and. What did I say her name was? Angela. Right. Me and Angela. Went inside the house. And you know. We talked to the guy. And he was like. Okay. So. You know. I'm going to bring the bags of money out too. For you guys to help me count it. I'm like. Okay. So he just. He went into this room. He went into this room. Well, there was only one room because it was a small ass house. So he went into the room. He was taking a little long. So me and Angela, we were looking at each other like, okay. We were just waiting. We were really scared. I could tell she was already, a, you know, she had her hand already in her bag to be prepared for anything. And I was scared. Like, I was, I could have like, peed on myself or something I was scared shitless like I was terrified but I'm just thinking okay at the end of this we're gonna get two thousand dollars for helping this man so let's just get this over with get the money and then we're gonna go and back then when you're that age you know what I spent my money on snacks <laughs> food lipstick because I wasn't into makeup and shit like that when I was 17 so that's what the money was for like to buy snacks and food Cause that's what we wanted as teenagers, only food. I, I'm, I'm a, I was a foodie, still a foodie, you know. So yeah, that's all I was thinking about. Let's just help him and we get the money and we bust it, we ride out. And so he finally came back outside to the living room with Remy and Angela, where we were. And he came empty hand. I'm like, what's going on? You said we're gonna help you count money. And you come back out with nothing. And and then he was like, he said to us, all right, here's this scene. I'm going to talk Trini. So if for the people who are not Trinidadian, I'm just going to, I know you might not understand what I'm saying, but I'm just going to say exactly how he said it. So he was like, eh, what's your scene now? If I get all your little 5,000, um... Or they go, you know, do a little thing. That we said. He's not being clear on what it is he want or what he's trying to say. He's kind of like beating around the bush. Don't beat around the bush. Talk your shit. He said, oh, 5,000 each. And if you guys do a little thing, have a little fun. That is the word he used. He said fun. If he give us $5,000 each, if we're willing to have a little bit of fun. So in my head, I'm thinking, fun. What fun? What is he talking about? I came here to help you count your money and get my ass out of here. Get me, my sister, and my cousin out of here. And he started talking about fun. I looked at my cousin. And we automatically knew what he meant by fun. Because it was him and another guy. 
and it was two of us. So he was trying to pay us to have some fun. So this nigga didn't want nobody to come help him count nothing. He had no intentions of us helping him to count no money. He just wanted to get two beautiful thickalicious, because both of us are thickalicious. He wanted to get two beautiful thickalicious women to come and have fun with him, and he decided that he was gonna he was gonna wait to say that, cause he knew if he had said that, that my cousin wouldn't have even taken him seriously. I mean, guys, I know we stupid anyway for even going to help him count money, but you know what I'm saying? We weren't going there thinking shit like this was gonna happen, you know. So, <laughs> and then so he said, okay. We said okay. And the reason we said okay is because we kind of wanted to get a chance to get the f out of there. Get the hell out of there. So we said yes. So he said, okay, I'll be right back. So he ran back into the room. And my cousin and I sneaked out quietly. I grabbed my sister and we bust it. We start running like crazy like idiots we started running like chickens without heads and we ran out of there oh my god we were so scared like <laughs> he wasn't gonna kill us or anything i don't think or rape us i don't know thank god no but um we got out of there safely empty-handed <laughs> but we got out of there safely that's all that matters, that everybody's safe, nobody was hurt, nobody was pressured into doing something that they didn't want to do. We are alive, thank God. Thank the creator, whoever's up there. And, you know, that's just, and that's the end of the story. We got away, and I don't know if he chased behind, I don't know if he ran behind us, but we were nowhere to be found. We, we bust it, we bust it. Bust it, bust it, bust it, bust it. And then turn that way and say, bust it, you're gone. Nobody's seen you. All they've seen is the smoke that, and the dust that you left behind. Anyway, so the moral of this story is, guys, don't go and do nothing stupid because you hear money or, especially as a teenager, when you broke, a young kid, you broke, you hear things like stupid things from money, opportunities. Don't go and do it, please. Don't do something that you'll regret. And I definitely regret going nothing happened but i i think we shouldn't have gone in the first place i think that's where we went wrong was actually going and me bringing my little sister into the situation like that was so wrong of me but my sister knows i love her mighty <laughs> so all right guys that was the end of the story time if you enjoy that story time give me a big thumbs up don't forget to comment and definitely don't forget to subscribe and turn that little notification bell thingy on because if you want to see every time I upload, you need to put your notifications on, okay? Okay? I'm going to be uploading every day, so we're going to be lifted, lifted, lifted. Day. Mm. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another story time. Mmm.